Timber! Introducing the cast list. This is the Weeping Ash. That's the main character in this saga. This is the two ash trees to its left as we'll be looking at it, which uh, could cause a bit of problem if it fell onto them. And this is the main protagonist, Bob, who uses a chainsaw to do that sort. This is a, a previous ash that was in the garden. It is now reduced as a actor to bit parts in the village. OK, this is the first in the series of How Do Grumpy Old Men Do That? First up, chainsaws are not dangerous. They're bloody lethal. So don't go within 10 miles of one unless you know what you're doing. So here is the size of the problem we've got. It's a poorly weeping ash which stands about 60 foot from the house and disease and rot have meant it could topple at any minute and kill me so it's got to come down. Uh, because of its position, uh, you can see it'll have to drop away from the bushes and trees to the rear, but out of shot to the left, which is this, uh, are some uh, two other ash trees whose branches stretch across the grassed area, and uh, if it were to fall in that direction, it could bounce off those ash trees and onto the house, which is not what we want it to do. So Bob wants it to drop towards the camera and I've positioned the camera on the front porch because uh, I've just got to leave it there and go and uh, help him with that rope which is supposedly pulling it a bit away from the bushes but it actually doesn't do much so we'll forget about it. But here Bob's um, making a, a wedge or what he calls a face in the front of the trunk in the position where he wants it to fall. So that face is facing towards the line of fall. Now he's using a sledgehammer to get rid of the sink. That's what he calls it. That's a sink. Good clean sink that. He's just going to finish it off. You may see in the bushes to the right a bough which Bob cut off earlier to leave the bulk of the weight of the tree over the cut so it would naturally fall in that direction. Now he's checking where the cut at the back of the tree is going to be made. He's got to make it the, at the same level as the bottom of the face so that the one comes parallel from the back of the tree to meet the cut at the front of the tree at the bottom of the face. Now before he did all this Bob made sure that he had a good free run away from the tree when it starts to go down. One thing that's quite interesting is when he's making this cut from the back to the front he leaves a little bit of wood intact between the front cut and the back cut to make a hinge and this hinge helps guide the tree as it falls and it's getting towards the hinge and down it goes Now again in slow motion. They call it Grump TV cause Grump TV's its name. Get down to the station and Take your claim. <laughs> <laughs>